we the thoracic surgery team at lung clinic hemo welcome you to view our documentation of a chest wall resection with standard reconstruction a 75 year old male heavy smoker with copd goal 2 presented with chest pain a detailed diagnostic evaluation revealed a right lower lobe tumor with infiltration into the chest wall no distant metastases were detected a chest mri scan clearly revealed the right lower lobe tumor with necrosis and chest wall infiltration. Next, we will show you a video describing the on-block resection of the right lower lobe with local resection of the chest wall including 4th to 6th ribs, serratus anterior muscle and radical lymphadenectomy. The histology of the resected lobe revealed a 30 mm partially necrotic squamous cell carcinoma with intercostal connective tissue infiltration and complete resection margins. The pathologic TNM staging was T3, N0, R0, L0, M0, G2 and the UICC stage was 2B. Here we can see a resection of around 5 cm of the parietal pleura in order to increase the safety resection margin. We now proceed with the dissection of the intercostal muscle and the connective tissue in addition to the dissection of the right serratus anterior muscle due to local adherence. The dorsal part of the sixth rib is being resected with the help of rib shears. The fifth rib was also resected in the same fashion before. The bleeding from minor intercostal vessels can be controlled by using bipolar cautery forceps. The infiltrated fifth and sixth rib as well as the intercostal and the serratus anterior muscle can be seen attached to the mobile lung. The next step is the anatomic resection of the lower lobe. The lower fissure is divided with the help of GI stapler. Ligation and dissection of segment 6 artery. The lower lobe bronchus has been closed with stapler. The last step is the transection of the posterior fissure also with a GI stapler. Now the lower lobe with the infiltrated components of the chest wall is being removed and marked with sutures to make the pathological identification easy. This was followed by a radical lymphadenectomy. We explore the subcarinal lymph node compartment and the paraesophageal space. We also see the left main bronchus free from lymph nodes at the compartment base. 
lymph node compartments 2, 4 and 10 were cleared as well. Now we begin with the reconstruction of the chest wall defect using dual mesh and Etibon polyester suture number 2. The rib stumps as well as the margins of the 4th and the 7th ribs were used as anchors to the mesh. A visual examination for stability of the mesh was not satisfactory, hence we decided to additionally use Stratos titanium plates and clips. Here we can observe the ventral clip being manually adjusted and being fixed on the ventral 6th rib stump. The titanium plate is being lengthwise adapted 